This next lesson is my favorite topic. It's defining and marketing the jobs to be done. Jobs to be done is a product innovation theory. Typically it's used by product teams to help build products, but it's a really powerful marketing tool as well. Defining the job to be done is deceptively simple. It's all about outlining the situation, motivation, and expected outcome. Jobs to be done is all about creating job stories, and it sounds something like this. When situation happens, I want to, motivation, so I can, expected outcome. So I think that jobs to be done is easiest to understand in examples, so we're gonna dive right in. So one example is getting from point A to point B. We as humans have been doing this for about six million years. The personas and technology have changed, but the job hasn't. We have to get somewhere, and depending on our motivation or like expected outcome, the job story changes a little bit. So I'm gonna use transportation as just an example. So for a bicycle, the job story would be, when I'm going to work and it's nice out, I want to get some exercise on my way to work so I can be healthy and help the environment. Maybe if you're taking an electric scooter, the job story would be like this. When I'm meeting friends for brunch and it's nice out, I want to get there quickly and have a little bit of fun on my way there so I can not be sweaty, but I can arrive on time because I probably overslept for brunch. Or one wheel, I don't know if you've seen those, like, I don't know what they're called. They're one wheel, people stand on it, there's one wheel, it's electric. When I'm getting around town, I wanna to go fast without sweating so I can look cool while I break my elbow. Or maybe you're taking a train, the situation can be like when I'm commuting to work and I need to cross the bay, I have a long way to go. I want to take a train so I can get there quickly without having to stress about driving so I can get there on time and maybe save money if you were to pay for parking every day. Or let's say a zip car. When I'm going hiking for the day, I want to quickly rent a car so that I can get to my destination, which doesn't have any public transportation and it's too far to bike. So you get the idea, but the jobs can are usually the same, getting from point A to point B, but maybe the situation, the motivations are a little bit different, and that impacts which mode of transportation you decide to use. 